Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris with Drone Pro Academy, and we got our hands on the Mavic Air. Now, I'm really curious about this camera. It's got a higher bit rate than some of the other ones, and so I wanted to compare it to the Phantom 4 Pro, to the Mavic Pro, and we're gonna throw a little bit of spark action in there. Now, there's all kinds of cool features that are new on this, but the one I really want, the one I really care about is the quality. What kind of image quality is this going to give me? That's what's most important to me. And I'm guessing it's important to some of you guys out there as well. So let's do it. And also guys, I've included a link in the description for high resolution samples that you can download. Okay, first let's check out the camera specs. The three most important things to consider when looking at a camera is the sensor, field of view, and bit rate. The sensor size will help determine the quality of the video, photos, dynamic range, and color. The bigger, the better. Okay, so here's a comparison of the sensors. As you can see, the Spark, the Mavic Pro, Mavic Air all have one over two-thirds sensors. That's pretty small in comparison to the one-inch sensor of the Phantom 4 Pro. Next is field of view. This is the focal length of the camera lens or how zoomed in the lens is. As you can see, the biggest difference of the four is the 28 millimeter in the Mavic. So that means it's gonna be a little bit more zoomed in than the rest of them. Next is the bitrate. Bitrate is one of the most important components when it comes to camera sharpness and quality and color. The Spark is on the low end at 24 megabits per second. The Mavic is a little bit better at 60 megabits per second and the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic Air are up to 100 megabits per second. Hey guys, what's up? So for this portion of the test, I've got all the drones lined up right here in the back of my car. We're gonna be shooting this sign up here. It's got some good color in it. So we're gonna be able to tell kind of some of the different color um, abilities of the different cameras. Um, we're also gonna zoom in on it and check out focus as well and see how, how sharp it is. Okay, for the test that we shot, we made sure to shoot in cine-like on all the cameras with standard profile and video mode, and we matched all the other camera settings. Okay, for this first test, let's check out the dynamic range of the cameras. Can you notice any differences? The dead giveaway is the detail in the sky. As you can see, the Spark Sky is almost completely blown out. We have little more detail in the Mavic Pro, but the Mavic Air and the Phantom 4 Pro stand out for the best dynamic range. I'd put the Phantom 4 Pro just a hair better than the Mavic Air. Okay, next we're gonna check out the sharpness and detail. These are zoomed in at 300%. As far as detail and sharpness, the Spark and Mavic Pro look quite muddy. In the Mavic Air, you get a bit more detail in the bricks. and In the Phantom 4 Pro, you have a lot more detail in the bricks. So I'd say that the Phantom 4 Pro wins this shootout. Okay, next test we're gonna do is the blowout test. And we didn't have a fourth person to fly the spark, so it sat this one out. Okay, for this test, I'm gonna push the exposure up and blow out the clips the same amount and see what happens. As you can see, the Mavic Pro has quite a bit of banding in its footage. The Mavic Air looks much better, but I'd say the Phantom 4 looks the best. Okay, now we're gonna zoom in 300% and check in the detail on the mountains. As you can see, the Mavic Pro just looks all kind of washed out. There's not a lot of detail. The Mavic Air and the Phantom 4 Pro look both very, very comparable to each other. Even though the Mavic Air has a smaller sensor, the bit rate really helps it out. i say the Phantom 4 Pro and the Mavic Air tie here. The next test we're gonna do is low light capabilities. All the drones were shot at the same ISO and other settings. Okay, first off, the Mavic Pro footage just looks a little bit muddy and a little bit washed out. The Mavic Air looks nice and sharp, but it's also a little bit noisy. The Phantom Pro looks a little soft, that might be because my focus might have been off a little bit, but I don't see the same noise in the image that I do on the Mavic Air. So I'd say that the bigger sensor helps out the Mavic 4 Pro in low light here. Okay, and to end this video, I'm gonna apply the same heavy color grade to all the shots. As you can see, the Mavic Air and the Phantom 4 Pro take the color grade a little bit better than the Mavic Pro. But a question to ask yourself is where are your videos gonna end up? Are they gonna end up online, on YouTube, in a movie theater? If your work's gonna end up online, then any of these drones could probably work just as well. But if you're gonna be selling for stock footage or using a movie, then you probably want a higher bitrate camera. Also a note on photography. If you're shooting photos, these drones shoot raw, which gives you a ton of latitude to work with. So if you mainly shoot photos, then any of these drones could work for that. Well, hey guys, it's been a ton of fun to pixel peep and to really dig in there and to see which one has the best image, but at the end of the day, you just gotta remember, these are just tools. Just because you buy the newest drone isn't gonna make you get the best drone shots. It's up to you, the pilot, to learn to create these epic drone shots with the tools that you have. If you guys like this video, I would really appreciate a subscription to my channel. 
Um, just hit that subscribe button if you liked it and make sure you guys download the still high res images of the stuff that we talked about today so you can check it out for yourself and see you guys later.